Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintFotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14986. Uh, this new release includes features and improvements over the last uh, build and we're going to see them as part of the uh, creators update in early 2017. Uh, so let's just dive in into the uh, new changes because there are quite a few of them. Alright, so um, uh, Cortana on build 14986, it's uh, getting uh, a lot of uh, new voice commands so finally uh, you can shut down restart lock or send your PC to sleep uh, using voice commands uh, unfortunately um, I can't get to work the shutdown or restart but let's say that if you want to lock your PC you can actually say it or use a command right here on the search and say for example like lock my PC and when you do that Cortana will recognize the command and it will simply lock your PC on this case so I'm going to log back in and in addition to that uh, to those commands now you can also uh, lower or raise the uh, system volume uh, but again I can uh, figure those out according to Microsoft those are um, those features are in but it, I mean the uh, the operating system is still in development so uh, they might not be working for uh, for everyone also uh, for voice commands Cortana now can control more um, music uh, apps so for example like if you like to play music with the uh, uh, the iHeartRadio or tuning radio app you can use Cortana now to control the uh, music and uh, in addition to that now Cortana remembers the uh, last app that you used to play music so let's say that uh, you uh, you use a command to ask Cortana to play music on on Groove and then you just want to play the next song or you know something different uh, you don't actually have to say the name of the app you simply just say the command that you want and, and Cortana will understand that uh, you want to play that on on this case on like on group music or the iHeartRadio app so that's those are really nice uh, new features to have but perhaps the um, the most exciting feature coming to uh, Cortana on on this uh, on this flight is that now we get a uh, Cortana on on full mode which is the same experience you get when the um, uh, computer is locked so let me see if that works uh, supposedly that works when the computer is unlocked and idle for at least 10 second uh, 10 seconds or, or so so now I haven't been moving the mouse for about that amount of time so I'm going to see if I can get Cortana to uh, go, go into full mode so I'm just going to say hey Cortana and as you can see now I'm on the um, on full screen mode uh, I'm just and just keep and she keeps listening to me all right so but there you go so that's Cortana on full mode and that's also really nice so you can you know control music as for the um, uh, weather or calendar if you're far away or you know you're in the kitchen uh, working on cooking so you can just simply shut out uh, shut out what you want and Cortana should be able to um, get that in full screen mode Cortana also understands now Chinese music so if that's something that you're interested in or that that is available on your region or that's something that uh, that you need uh, Cortana now does it as well all right let's move on on to the um, on to the next uh, update which is happening on Windows Inc now when we go to the uh, screen sketch let me open that up now we get a uh, you can now recover your previous um, sketch so for example right here I can come back to the uh, my previous sketch but if you close it it will update the uh, the last one so you always can get the last one 
not just the last one you want so let's say this one okay this one worked so this is the last one so let me get that out and let me open that again and then close it up again and now when we click this uh, uh, preview uh, resume uh, resume previews we can get and choose and go back to the uh, uh, previous sketch which is a really nice uh, addition to it's a small change but a, a good addition to the uh, to the experience also when you uh, open the um, the flyout for the uh, the pen pencil or the um, highlighter now you're going to get a um, a new preview so you know exactly how the ink is going to look like when you switch colors or or you or the width of the ink but unfortunately I'm noticing that once you make your selection it will the fly the flyout menu will just uh, disappear so you can not just be changing the uh, the color and the width uh, without having to reopen the uh, the flyout but maybe that's going to change on the uh, on future updates and this feature and this um, uh, new preview is also available for the uh, uh, is uh, the sketch pad so okay so now let's move on to the uh, desktop uh, there's not too many changes actually there is no change whatsoever but um, now when you right click on the desktop uh, uh, the um, this item right here the uh, taskbar settings has been renamed from just settings and let me show you that now when you open the uh, registry you know not a lot of people at least not regular uh, users will um, benefit from this or advanced user for that matter but if you go to the um, uh, reg edit you can uh, click and view and click font and you can actually change the font font style and the size of the uh, of the font so let's say if I want to use the comic scene and I want to make that 16 points and want to be bold and now you get that I mean it's just like a new addition to uh, to the registry I don't know what's the benefit of it but you know at least you know we have that option if we want to so I'm just going to move that back and something like that. that that should look better so those are the changes on the uh, registry and now let's move on into into the uh, settings uh, because there are quite a few uh, improvements there are, I don't think there are new settings but there are quite a few improvements okay so I'm going to open the settings app and I'm going to go to straight to uh, system and then go to storage because now you're going to notice that the um, uh, we used to have the settings uh, so we're um, file safe by default but they're not longer here so now we have to change um, we have we actually have to click the uh, change where uh, new content is saved and that will take us to a new page where we can come here and and change where your apps, documents, music, and videos uh, are saved by default. So you have to like come here. Uh, and I haven't found the actual um, page, so it doesn't have a section. So I, I think you actually have to like come to storage and always click that uh, that link to go to that page and make your selections. I don't know if uh, Microsoft is actually gonna change how storage is going to look like here but I mean if we only have the uh, local storage uh, 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 view right here I don't think it makes much sense so I, I would assume that in the future we're going to see uh, new storage options on this page when you click the main storage on your device now we're going to see that the um, uh, the this bar and in all the other sections has been updated and now they actually uh, take the color from the uh, uh, color scheme you're using on your computer but uh, besides that there is no new changes 
and then on network and internet now when you go to data usage also microsoft updated the um uh, the view so now instead of have a circular bar now we had a horizontal bar that actually matches that storage uh, uh, bar that i show you just now and if we code we click on view uh, usage um, details or we're going to see now that each uh, service or each item that connects to the internet also has a, um, uh, a horizontal bar to show to show how much uh, data is used and now you can actually if you have multiple um, network adapters you can select that and you will see uh, which services uh, connected to the internet uh, per um, uh, network adapter which is like really nice if you actually need to uh, do that on Windows update nothing has really changed uh, on this build uh, we're actually uh, this is the uh, the first flight that we're getting with the new update um, feature that Microsoft introduced on the uh, previous bill and so now we are just getting the uh, update a lot faster and did also install a lot faster uh, in addition to that now like I said we're not going to see any visual changes on Windows update but Windows update now is going to uh, if if the operating system can find a good time to restart your system to apply an update you will get a notification so you can actual schedule a restart so it will you know windows update will get you more involved into uh into the updates so it, you know the computer doesn't restart you know suddenly but you still will be able to keep your system up to date uh, another big introduction on on this uh, bill in 14.986 is now we have a new uh, Windows Defender uh, dashboard. It, it's actually a new app, and this is how it looks like. You still can access to the uh, uh, all. Let me see if I let me see if that opens it up. You can still open the the all Windows Defender, but this eventually is going to fade out and we're going to get uh, this as the uh, main dashboard to access the uh, the antivirus and control uh, different aspect of the uh, security on your system uh, this is still under development a lot of things don't work and not all the features are included but now as you can see we get uh, we get the dashboard with three uh, uh, quick access which you can also uh, access from the uh, uh, from uh, from the left menu and if we go to virus and threat uh, threat protection uh, we're going to see now that we get the uh, scan history and the number of uh, threats that uh, have been found in this case I don't have any virus which is really good and all the files scan you can start a scan and uh, click on right here with this button the uh, scan now button right there and then if we go to virus and threat protection settings these are the same settings that you can uh, change and uh, change using the um, uh, settings up but as you can see they're all grayed out so I you know you can't change anything right now and let me see the uh, protection updates it tells you you know when uh, if you got the uh, latest update and you can actually check for updates I don't know if that works I guess that actually works and let's move on to let's go back and okay there is no other changes there so let's go to firewall here you can view details and, and you know and just change some of the settings but right now you can do pretty pretty much you can't do anything you can just uh, click private and you know you can do anything right here but like I said this is under development in future updates we're going to see more options available but you still if you want to uh, change the um, uh, firewall and network you know and other network aspect you'll be better off using control panel to do that uh, finally we get a uh, family options right there as well 
so we can you know get some uh, uh, information about how to um, how to be saved online and this is more for uh, in non-technical uh, people and again there is nothing you can click other than the uh, uh, view family settings that this will open your browser into your Microsoft account on the uh, uh, family uh, settings section and that's about it for uh, for this app there is a, a settings button but it won't take you anywhere and like I said this is just a preview and Microsoft will keep updating this app on future uh, updates um, besides uh, all these changes that I show you uh, today um, on the um, on the gaming side and on the, on the gaming side of things uh, Microsoft now has, um, has enabled 19 more games to uh, so you can use with the uh, game bar on full screen and the uh, narrator um, feature also includes uh, a number of shortcuts uh, and improvements uh, for people uh, that needs uh, that help with the narrator which are those are get really useful uh, new uh, improvements I'm gonna put the link um, with more details about that on the uh, on the uh, section below uh, the video and that's that's pretty much everything that it's new on this uh, Windows 10 built 14986 uh, I'll just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing